Hi guys, welcome to this week's edition of EM Biz. This is all about how we can help you better yourself for your company, your team, and your business. So today we're gonna to talk about whether there's a difference between personal branding or personal marketing and marketing for your company. Now I would argue, since I'm the face of Elevate, that there really should not be a difference. While personal branding, if you are a one-off, for example, an author um, or something that is kind of lone wolf, is a very different com conversation. When it comes to bigger companies, there really isn't a separation between the face of the brand and the company itself. And in fact, I think I've done a pretty decent job of making sure you guys know purple is part of our branding. Um, I really represent my company in the best way possible, I think, by showing up the way I look, by speaking eloquently, by really having a presence in my community. So those are the ways that I think that I show up in terms of my personal branding. Um, but I really don't feel like there's a difference between personal and professional branding when you're the face of a company like Elevate My Brand. Uh, in terms of creating a really strong presence, it's about consistency. Just like with marketing as a whole, whether you have a color theory that is on brand or whether there's a personality that you want people to really know about you, that's what has to be consistent. So for example, when I show up in a room, I really try and fill that room with energy, with personality, with being a little silly and irreverent. That is who my authentic self is and that's really how I try and show up in the world. So now taking that and using that to expand your business is an entirely different conversation. But what I would say is they really go hand in hand. So if you have the kind of personality that we have here at Elevate, uh, make sure that you're developing a target list for media opportunities, press opportunities, speaking engagements, content development that are aligned with your overall goals. So for example, we have the Inc. Magazine column called On Brand. That's totally aligned with who we are as a company, who I am and my personality. And so the two are seamlessly interwoven and it's also a great feeder for clients for us. So that's how we use um, my personal branding to align with our company as a whole and how we use it consistently across different channels to really support the growth of our company. And that's the difference or lack thereof between personal and professional branding and how you can use it to elevate your brand.